Welcome to Reflector Hub TV. Get set for an encounter through God's Word with God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. There is a serious disadvantage if you do not carry favor. I have found out people really don't care about you. This is a very painful revelation. It takes a long time usually for people. People don't care about you at all. They are, they are passionately obsessed with making a meaning out of their own lives. So whatever will make them live their own affairs and zoom their attention to you has to be divine. Listen, most of us have this superstitious idea that just because I love God, everybody will shut down on their destinies and just pay attention to me. No, sir. Apostle, the other day I sat in church and someone was looking at me and smiling. My brother, as he was looking at you, he was thinking about something else. I can almost tell you, you are not the one he was looking at. I'm not being sarcastic. Have you seen people talk and walk and you think they are talking to you? But they are talking about themselves how is this rent going to come say sorry i'm not talking to you i'm discussing something serious listen do you know why i'm teaching you this it's not just to laugh and to scorn if it is true that your success does not just depend the dynamics of the manifestation now is god in partnership to men to make, to make it happen and these men are currently distracted pursuing their own destinies that what do you think will make those men to leave whatever it is and then turn to you and give you dedicated investment of their time dedicated investment of their resources dedicated investment of their energy allow you to climb and leverage upon them i was preaching come sam i was preaching years ago and a man of god preached before me and he shared a story that i found very very powerful pay attention to the story this is what he said that there was a senior advocate i think in this country or so or around the world very senior senior legal practitioner very wealthy very successful influential one whose name is a key you know names can be two things keys or padlocks but this one his name is a key and there was this year and that gentleman felt life was so unfair i'm just looking for a fraction of this thing look what they want to give this man and he's leaving them and what kind of thing is this when god wanted to help that gentleman this is what happened in the presence i think they were at a conference and there were several people businessmen billionaires other lawyers the captains of industry and this young man came and cried and said sir please help me please change my life and the man said okay i will help you and he said follow me and he came out of the veranda and everybody was looking at him oh this is that our senior advocate what is he doing with this guy then he began to talk with him so how are you how is your wife i said sir that's not the issue i'm bro he said just talk to me and they were walking together how are you are you eating well are you taking care? and he was angry he was saying sir the issue is that I'm, I'm hungry and the man said he walked with him and when he walked with him he got into his office and said if you still fail don't come to my office again listen listen do you know you know what he was doing people were saying who is this man Please sit down sit down and learn you are in the house of god the gentleman came out true story he was about to look for a bike to go home and someone stopped him and said sorry i saw you with this man um listen listen he did not even ask him if he was ill he said sorry we've been trying to get him to negotiate a deal for us but he, our rate can we please can we work with you and he mentioned a rate that was a breakthrough and the gentleman was wise to compose himself listen true story the moment he did that god granted him grace called some of his partners and worked together and within a year this gentleman got a gift 
and went back to the office of that senior advocate he knelt down and said thank you for changing my life then the senior advocate asked him he said do you know what happened to you that's what i'm interested in you keep your gift you have to study what happened to you so that you will use it on others too favor is when an individual invests his credibility on you listen carefully who likes you in this kingdom matters the word of god has always brought forth light and life to the people jesus said the words that i speak they are spirit and they are life i believe the word of god has come to you today as spirit and as life i believe you have been mightily blessed i would like you to follow us by clicking the notification bell so you will receive every notification on our updates and also stay updated through God's word. Share this video and also don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. God bless you.